Welcome to the Duralon gasket installation training video. What you see in front of you here is a Fady rig, flange assembly demonstration unit. It is a 4 inch 150 flange with 8 bolts that are individually strain gauged. Now as you can see on the screen, currently right now a top view of the flange, bolts numbered 1 through 8, and those will give you live readings of the actual bolt stress as the bolts are being tightened. Additionally, down below you will see a bar graph with min, average, and max stresses, which we will try to achieve during the installation. There will also be an average stress and a target away from the maximum bolt stress, which we are trying to achieve. So first, with any installation, we must always check to make sure that you are locked out, tagged out, the system is depressurized, and you are working safely. From there, we will visually inspect the flange, make sure it's free of debris, that the bolts are not damaged, there's no dirt or grime in the flanges, and we're going to number the flanges. In this case, we are numbering 1 through 8, which is the 8 bolts, and again, we're numbering them in the star type pattern that we are trying to achieve our tightening sequence. Now, the first step is we're going to take the gasket, and we're going to actually install into the flange. Now in this case it is a ring gasket so it's going to sit with inside the bolt circle. So once we've installed the gasket we're going to insert the top flange on. Prior to doing that we're going to lubricate all of the washer nut threads and bolts. Uh, in this case we have a spray washer for ease of use. But in doing so what we're trying to do is lubricate any wetted part where you're going to have physical contact. Any part that has any type of friction whatsoever you want to make sure that you have enough lubrication where you can literally see it from within three or four feet away. There's never too much lubrication when installing a bolted joint. Okay, so now we've lubricated the flange, the bolts and washers. We're going to put all the nuts on here. So we're going to hand tighten all the nuts here. We're running them down until they snug up. And again, we just want to give the flange a good starting point before we begin with the actual tightening of the installation. Now obviously if you look at the screen, there still really isn't any stress on the bolts yet because we're just hand tightening. And again, once these nuts are run down into a snug, we will actually start to take a hand wrench. And once we have that hand wrench, we will give it a quarter turn to snug up all the bolts. There we go. We're going to just give a quarter snug just to start a good reference point. Perfect. Now we can take our gap tool before we start and measure around the circumference in several spots to ensure that the gap is uniform. At any point, if you find that the overall flange spacing is more uh, than a certain point, you can back off that applicable nut to ensure, again, that the spacing is, is uniform around the circumference. So, so for our installation purposes, we're going to use 100 foot-pounds as our target torque. Now for the first round of our star pattern, we are going to use 30%, which is 30 foot-pounds. So initially we're going to apply the 30 foot-pounds to our star tightening round. As you can see the first round is generally a little bit more difficult because the bolts haven't been physically tightened yet. But as we go you'll hear the clicker wrench break. We're just using applying the 30% or 30 foot-pounds in this case. And we're going to go in a nice controlled motion until the clicker wrench breaks. As you're watching the screen here you can see that as we start to do the star pattern and alternating that the actual bolt stresses look like it's skipping every other bolt additionally. As one bolt starts to increase in stress, another one will start to decrease slightly. And this is what is happening in the flange as we start to tighten. Hence why it's very important to use these multiple levels of tightening at different torques and using that star pattern. And again, as you can see, we're starting to get a nice uniform torque all the stresses are starting to increase. You know, we're at a target stress, or an average bolt stress, I'm sorry, of 14,000 PSI, and we're still about 70% from our target. So before we do our, our second round at 60% or 60 foot-pounds, we will actually check the circumference in several more spots uh, using the Duraline gap tool here. Again, if you do not happen to have a gap tool, you can always use a vernier caliper or a feely gauge or something to check the gap to make sure that it's uniform. Again, we've succeeded, everything looks good. We're going to continue with the target torque 
of 60% or 60 foot pounds in this case. And again, when you start to look at the screen here, you can see you know, bolt one starting to start increase, bolts two and four are starting to come down. And again, it's this phenomenon as, as one side of the flange is tightening, the other side is kind of is reacting in the opposite direction. Now, one thing to point out that in a perfect world, as you're tightening a flange, ideally you would like to do eight bolts all in one shot. However, that's not really possible. So by mimicking the rounds at 30, 60, and 100% of the target torque, in theory, that's what you're starting to do. So again, we'll do one final check to ensure that the gap is uniform. Now, so once we've checked the gap with the gap tool around the circumference, we've ensured that everything is fine, we will continue with 100% or 100 foot-pounds in this case of our final torque in the star pattern. Now the star pattern can also be known as the modified legacy method, you may have heard. But as you start to look at the screen once again, you can see that you know, some of the bolts are really starting to increase. We're above our minimum and above the average stresses that we're trying to achieve, but we're not exceeding the maximum bolt stress for this case, which is going to be approximately 75% bolt yield. Now as we're finalizing this final round, you can see that the bolts are starting to still increase. However, they're still not uniform. And at the end of our final third star pattern, as you can see across the board, they're not perfect. They're still not straight across or linear. So what we would like to do is an additional rotational round of 100% target torque. And basically we'll start at bolt one and either work in a clockwise or counterclockwise direction just snugging up the bolts to ensure that the load is uniform. Now as she starts to do this, see that the torques are starting to level out. Now at any point if we feel that the nut moves, we must start from that point forward and re-tighten around the circumference of the flange until no movement is further detected. And what this does is it just uniformly stresses the bolts to the same stress and ensures uniform gasket loading. As you can check to the screen here, you can see now that we're a lot more uniform across. You know, we're basically at the average or higher from a bolt stress. And we do have a couple flyers on bolt one and bolt eight, which, which are very normal. And at the end of the tightening, when you look to the screen, you know, our target bolt stress for this application was 55,000 PSI. You know, we're averaging 54,300, etc. And then looking at this, the one thing that I want to point out is as the installation has stopped, what you will notice on the screen is that the bolt stress is dropping. Now this is very normal because of gasket creep and relaxation. Hence why we always recommend to do a retorque. Um, within the 4 to 24 hour window is ideal. So again, as you look on the screen, you can see that our bolt stress is dropping. You know, if we were to wait 10 or 15 minutes, we're probably down to about 45,000 PSI bolt stress. Hence why it's very, very important to always retighten your gasket or retorque. We just want to point out never to recommend doing a hot torque, meaning that the gasket is in service, pressurized or elevated temperature. Um, that can be very dangerous. We would always recommend for you to reach out to your bolt manufacturer for any of these types of procedures. Okay, so just to recap, gasket installation starts with your initial pre-inspection to make sure that the flange is clean, your bolting is in good condition, you always want to use adequate lubrication, and then you want to use a minimum of three to five tightening rounds. Now in this application here we showed you three rounds at 30, 60, and 100% of the target torque, followed by a rotational round. It is very important to use a gap tool in between rounds one, two, three to ensure that the gap is uniform so that we're bringing the flanges together in parallel as possible. And again, we always want to recommend to retorque within that 4 to 24 hours because of the creep that you saw earlier in the presentation. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to the Duralon technical team and we will be happy to assist you.